if optimists can, can watch videos, uh, you know, YouTube videos or how-to videos or whatever, and based on that video, just like a human can, uh, learn how to do that thing, then you, 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 you really have uh, task extensibility that is dramatic because then it, it, it can learn anything very quickly. That single statement may be the most important thing Elon Musk has ever said about humanoid robots. Because the real question people are asking right now isn't how fast can a robot move or how strong can it be. Those questions are already outdated. Chinese robots can do backflips. Others can box, dance, or play ping pong. Impressive, but none of that answers the question that truly matters. Can it walk into your kitchen, understand what it sees, and do something useful without being told every step? Can it learn the way humans learn, not through endless lines of code, but by watching, copying, failing, and improving? That's why the idea of a humanoid robot learning from video has shaken the entire robotics industry. For decades, robots have been powerful, but fragile. They worked perfectly inside factories, behind cages, in environments designed specifically for them. The moment reality changed, they failed. Homes are messy, kitchens are chaotic, humans are unpredictable. So how will Tesla Bot Gen 3 reshape the market in 2026? What are the breakthrough factors that will fully convince users to trust humanoid robots? Welcome to Tesla Car World. While the excitement around Tesla Bot Gen 2 hasn't died down yet, Elon Musk has confirmed that Optimus Gen 3 will debut in the first quarter next year. This version will be capable of doing everything from cooking and cleaning to taking care of people. According to Musk, it will be so human-like that we'll have a hard time telling the difference, and it will be able to perform around 3,000 useful tasks at a price of $30,000. However, even before Optimus Gen 3 is released, Elon Musk has shocked everyone by announcing that Tesla will mass-produce Optimus Gen 4 and Gen 5. This means that Optimus Gen 3 won't be the final version of the Tesla bot. And if the Gen 3 model can perform 3,000 useful tasks, that implies Optimus Gen 5 could double that number to around 6,000 tasks, with accuracy potentially matching that of a human. It won't just be limited to simple chores like cooking and cleaning. It will also be integrated into various environments, one of which is hospitals. For the past three years, Elon Musk has been making bold promises about the Tesla bot, not just to excite fans, but to convince investors, employees, and the public to look beyond Tesla's identity as a car company. He's betting the company's future on a humanoid robot designed to help with everyday life, from cooking and cleaning to childcare and more. Musk has even said, on at least five separate occasions, that Optimus will one day outsell every other Tesla product in history. From the very start of the third quarter earnings call, all eyes were on one thing, the reveal of Optimus version 3. Elon Musk hinted that the new model could debut as early as the first quarter of next year. But what really grabbed attention was his description. The next Optimus, he said, won't even look like a robot. It'll look like a person in a robot suit, so realistic that you'd have to poke it just to be sure it's not human. That means this next version will take refinement to a whole new level. Every contour and surface carefully designed to conceal wires, joints, or mechanical parts almost entirely. Musk has even hinted that its movements will be so smooth and lifelike that you could easily mistake it for a real person. Rumors are already swirling that Tesla Bot 3 might come with an OLED display for its face, Grok voice integration, and remarkably human-like hands. While Elon Musk hasn't confirmed those details, he also hasn't denied them, and that says a lot. For now, he's clarified that the model we've been seeing in recent demos is still Optimus 2.5, and even that version has stunned audiences, performing fluid kung fu moves so realistic that some people at the Tron Ares premiere actually thought it was a person in costume. It's also been spotted holding a microphone on stage and even serving food at the Tesla diner. Impressive? Absolutely. But this is just the beginning. According to Musk's long-term roadmap, Tesla aims to produce around 10 million units of the upcoming Gen 4 model, and as many as 100 million for Gen 5. Most people understandably find that hard to believe. Still, if Optimus 3 delivers on even half of what's been teased, we're about to witness one of the most extraordinary leaps in robotics yet. However, it seems Tesla may be running a bit behind on Optimus 3. The robot was originally expected to make its big debut at the company's major November event, but that's now been pushed to the first quarter of next year. The delay likely comes down to one key challenge, the hands. During the meeting, Musk openly acknowledged the hurdles his team is facing. 
he called bringing Optimus to market an extremely difficult task, and even admitted that the robot's hands and forearms are proving to be a tougher engineering problem than the rest of the entire machine combined. As Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized, the hands are by far the most complex and expensive part of Optimus. If each unit costs around $50,000, Musk estimates that the hand technology alone could account for half or even 60% of that total. But beyond the hands, another major challenge lies in mass production. During the earnings call, Musk revealed Tesla's ambitious goal to eventually build 1 million Optimus robots per year. Then he highlighted a sobering truth. Right now, Tesla's focus remains on something far more practical, household chores. This stage of development might seem modest compared to the robot's long-term ambitions, but it's a crucial first step. Elon Musk understands that for the public to truly accept humanoid robots, Optimus must, first, prove itself useful in daily life. A robot that can tidy the living room, fold laundry, or prepare a simple meal will have a much easier time earning the trust and curiosity of customers than one performing complex industrial tasks that feel distant from everyday reality. Why is Elon Musk so confident of Tesla Bot Gen 3 magical hands? The most important part of Optimus Gen 3, and the greatest source of pride for the Tesla team, is its hands. Each hand contains 26 independent miniature motors connected through a cable system that mimics human tendons. When a finger moves, the joints glide with a smoothness that closely resembles real muscle motion. Each fingertip is embedded with ultra-small pressure and temperature sensors, allowing the robot to sense the heat of a frying pan, the chill of a beer glass, or the moisture on fresh vegetables. Elon Musk has described this hand as a mechanical marvel of humankind. Mass-producing a robotic hand with such precision is extraordinarily difficult, and he has acknowledged that building the Optimus hand was harder than designing the Cybertruck. That comparison alone reflects how seriously Tesla approaches a problem most robotics companies have failed to solve. This is where most humanoid robots fall short. Many can run, jump, or perform backflips, but they cannot peel an orange, fold laundry, or crack an egg without destroying it. Dexterity, not strength, remains the true barrier between robots and real-world usefulness. Cooking is not a single action, but a chain of decisions and movements requiring coordination, perception, timing, and judgment. It involves opening the fridge, identifying ingredients, adjusting grip strength, turning on the stove, monitoring temperature and handling sharp tools and hot surfaces, all while maintaining balance and safety. Optimus Gen 3 does not learn to cook through rigid programming. Instead, it learns by watching, much like a human. The robot observes instructional videos, analyzes sequences of actions, hand angles, knife positions, and heat levels, then rehearses these tasks millions of times in a simulated environment. Only after achieving near-perfect accuracy does it perform the task in the real world. This learning paradigm is what Tesla refers to as real-world AI, an approach focused on functioning in uncontrolled everyday environments. Unlike industrial robots that fail outside standardized settings, Optimus is designed to adapt. Every kitchen is different. Every home has a unique layout. Optimus Gen 3 is built to handle real household chores, vacuuming, mopping, folding clothes, wiping tables, organizing rooms, and even mowing the lawn. It scans rooms in 3D, distinguishes between clean and dirty areas, and selects the appropriate tools. When it encounters a spill, it wipes in a circular motion, rinses the cloth, wrings it out, and finishes neatly. If dust is detected under furniture, it crouches, cleans, and rises smoothly. Vacuuming, for Optimus, is not merely suction, but strategy. The robot identifies the type of debris, adjusts suction power, recognizes objects like keys or toys, and sets them aside instead of ingesting them. Whenever one Optimus learns a new skill, that knowledge is shared across the entire network. When a single robot masters folding a shirt or making pizza, every other Optimus instantly gains that capability. This decentralized learning system allows the entire robot ecosystem to evolve continuously without manual reprogramming. Optimus is also designed to integrate naturally into human life. Its personality and voice can be customized, and over time it learns user preferences, reducing the need for explicit instructions. With Grok voice integration and a facial display, it communicates naturally and understands context. A glance at dirty dishes or a simple hand gesture can signal what to do next. 
its perception system recognizes objects not only by shape, but by function. A knife is understood as a cutting tool. A pan is for cooking. A towel is for cleaning. This functional awareness enables real-time decision-making rather than blind execution. For over a year, Optimus has trained up to 16 hours a day at Tesla's Palo Alto facility, operating in a continuous loop of observation, simulation, correction, and execution. This is not automation, it is adaptation. What tasks can you use the 2026 Tesla Bot Gen 3 to do? Elon Musk has been very clear. Optimus is not a side project. In fact, it may be the most important product Tesla has ever worked on. Tesla's electric cars are revolutionary, but they are still limited by manufacturing, capacity, supply chains, and consumer replacement cycles. A household may buy a car once every seven to 10 years. A humanoid robot, on the other hand, could be deployed everywhere, homes, warehouses, hospitals, hotels, factories, and offices, working every single day. This is why Musk has stated that Optimus could eventually generate profits many times greater than Tesla's automotive business. A robot that looks impressive in a demo but fails at simple tasks is worthless. No one will pay for a robot that drops dishes, spills drinks, or falls over while carrying objects. One single fall isn't just a failed task, it's a safety risk. In the Kung Fu demonstration, the flashy kicks and fast movements were never the real message. The real message was recovery. Those small hops, quick steps backward, and controlled posture adjustments after being pushed show something far more important than martial arts skill. They show that Optimus can detect instability and react before a fall occurs. In an industrial setting, Optimus may be moving through narrow production lines, carrying heavy components or tools. In a service environment, it could be navigating crowded hallways, tight kitchens, or cluttered living rooms. In both cases, balance is not optional. It's fundamental. Tesla engineers have designed Optimus to constantly predict failure before it happens. Using vision, joint torque sensors, and motion prediction models, the robot continuously calculates whether its next step is safe. If not, it adjusts mid-motion. A self-driving car doesn't just follow a route. It constantly monitors for unexpected events, sudden braking, pedestrians, road debris, and adjusts in real time. Optimus works the same way. It may start a movement sequence, but it always remains reactive, ready to abort, correct, or recover. The implication is enormous. Tesla is not building two separate AI systems. It's building one unified real-world AI model that can operate both vehicles and humanoid robots. That means every mile driven by Tesla cars contributes to the same perception and decision-making intelligence that Optimus uses. Every edge case encountered on the road, unexpected obstacles, unusual lighting, complex motion patterns, helps train the robot to better understand the world. Once Optimus robots are deployed at scale, they become data collectors themselves. Every task performed, every mistake corrected, every new environment encountered feeds back into the shared learning system. This creates a feedback loop where the robots improve faster the more of them exist. When one Optimus learns how to perform a task, whether it's organizing a garage, assisting an elderly person, or handling a new industrial process, that capability can instantly propagate to every other Optimus in the world. One of the most practical and immediate use cases for Optimus is elder care. In the United States and many other developed countries, the aging population is growing rapidly. At the same time, there is a shortage of caregivers. Optimus could help fill that gap, not by replacing human connection, but by supporting it. The robot could remind seniors to take medication, help them stand or walk safely, detect hazards like wet floors, and call for help in emergencies. It could also provide companionship by reading news, playing music, or simply engaging in conversation. For many elderly people, technology itself is a barrier. Smartphones, apps, and smart home systems can be confusing or intimidating. Optimus could act as a universal interface, responding to simple voice commands to make calls, adjust temperature, turn on lights, or close curtains. While it will never replace parents or teachers, it can act as a consistent assistant. Reading stories, helping with homework, practicing basic math or language skills, and ensuring children stay safe within certain boundaries. Unlike humans, the robot doesn't get tired, impatient, or distracted. It can repeat lessons hundreds of times with the same calm demeanor. Parents could monitor everything through Optimus's cameras, adding an extra layer of reassurance. People worry about robots taking jobs, 
becoming dangerous, or turning against humanity. These fears are understandable, but they're also deeply influenced by science fiction. Today's humanoid robots are still limited. They don't set their own goals. They don't have desires. They don't want anything. They operate within constraints defined by humans. Even the most advanced AI systems today excel only within specific domains. Optimus can learn tasks, but it does not possess independent agency. Automation has replaced certain roles many times before, yet society has always adapted. New industries emerge. New jobs are created. Robots take over repetitive, dangerous, or physically exhausting work, freeing humans to focus on creativity, management, and innovation. And in the near term, humanoid robots are still expensive. Even if Optimus is priced like a car, it will not replace low-cost labor overnight. For many tasks, humans will remain more economical and flexible. The real challenge isn't robots replacing humans. It's figuring out how humans and robots can work together effectively. So when Elon Musk keeps promising Gen 3 while already announcing mass production of Gen 4 and Gen 5 before Gen 3 even launches, is this visionary leadership or a familiar tactic to excite investors? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.